Those of us who drive have probably been pulled over by the police, or at least know someone who has. These next people, though, did their absolute best to get out of the situation. Here are 10 ridiculous ways people actually got out of traffic tickets. Number 10. Woman fakes death to avoid a series of tickets. The dead cannot be punished. Kimberly Dew, a resident of Des Moines, Iowa, faked her death to avoid paying for a good number of traffic tickets. In one instance, she posted a letter signed in her mother's name to the county judge to inform him that she was dead. She went ahead to forge an obituary and make it look as if she had been extracted from the local newspaper site. This trick worked for just a month since she ended up being caught again due to her terrible driving. Number 9. Fixing an overpressurized boiler that is about to explode. This Cuban national decided to escape the consequences of his love for speeding by lying that he was going to repair an overpressurized boiler that was about to explode at the local sugar mill. He lied to the policeman that he had received a call from the Minister of Industry himself. Weighing the devastating effect of such an incident, the policeman let him go. He did not only escape the traffic ticket, but also received a 20-mile escort under siren. Number 8. Revealing Jon Snow's Fate to the Police Officer Game of Thrones fans were so anxious about Jon Snow's fate after he was stabbed to death at the very end of Season 2 of the popular TV show. Kit Harington, who stars as Jon Snow, was caught speeding while driving back from his parents' house, and he was presented with a chance to get out of it. The policeman just wanted to know if Jon Snow lives in the next season of Game of Thrones. He revealed that the character would be alive, and the policeman told him, On your way, Lord Commander. Number 7. A man bought back his own car This man decided to do everything possible to ensure that he got out of a traffic ticket. Englishman Del Lyle bought back his 14-year-old Honda Civic to prove that the old vehicle could not speed over 85.4 miles per hour. Del had been caught by a traffic camera driving at 98 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone. If guilty, Del would have his driving license suspended. To avoid this predicament, he bought back his old car for 600 euros and spent 600 more euros on speed testing. The ticket was eventually withdrawn, and Dale got to keep his license. Number 6. Got to change my tampons Ladies never lack means to take advantage of men when need be. One man shared a story of how his wife always escapes traffic tickets whenever she feels like. She just places a packet of tampons at her back seat, and when stopped by a policeman for overspeeding, she simply points at the packet. This insinuates that she is rushing to the nearest restroom to change her tampons, or else she'll be soaked, and that's terrible. Apparently, it always works. Number 5. Reported his car stolen every time he got a ticket Mario Hill from Australia Australia is a genius when it comes to getting out of a ticket, or the city police are just dumb. The reason as to why I'm saying this is because this guy used this trick over 20 times with no raising an eyebrow. Mario was caught running red lights and speeding by traffic cameras over 20 times for 30 years. Every time this happened, he would call the police and report his car stolen. He would then call later and say that he had recovered the car all by himself. He was, however, caught uh, at his 21st attempt. Number 4. My client's feet are too long. A professional basketballer was pulled over for speeding and given a ticket. He was taken to court, but luckily, he had a clever and cheeky lawyer. The lawyer argued that the basketballer's legs were so tall that he did not have the finesse to keep a low speed. The judge was amused, and he decided to let the guy go. Number 3. The Power of Information Silver was driving at 85 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone when he got pulled over by the DMV officers. He had just gotten his driver's license and had his driver's manual in the glove box. The thing is, DMV officers mostly deal with 18-wheelers and are rarely involved with four-wheelers. The officer asked for his license, which he handed him together with the vehicle registration. In the process, Silver showed the officer the driver's manual page, illustrating the role of DMV police. The police officer knew he was concerned and let Silver drive away with a verbal warning. Number 2. My Ice Cream Will Melt A police officer confessed that the funniest excuse he heard for speeding was from a woman old enough to be a grandmother and he let her go scot-free. The old woman was speeding, and when the police officer asked why she was in such a hurry, she replied that she was just from buying ice cream and wanted to get home before it melts. The police officer thought that was pure genius and let her go. Number 1. Trying to catch up with a driver who just threw a beer bottle at my car Some drivers or passengers are just naughty by nature. Once in a while, you'll have a bunch of teenagers throw a bottle at your car in traffic and then speed away laughing their hearts out. One driver shares that he once escaped a traffic ticket by telling the policeman that he was trying to catch up with the driver ahead of him, who had thrown a beer bottle at his car so he could read his license number. Ever been pulled over yourself? Tell us about it in the comments, follow us on Twitter, and thanks for watching.